you lovely people. Fancy seeing you here. We're back. Are we back? I think so. You just told me to say it, so I hope so. <laughs> That's right, ladies and gents. They're back. And by heck do they have a story to tell you from their year of all deals. Tribulations, jubilation, elation, highs, lows, up, downs and everything in between. Come on. Yes, come on. <laughs> it's the story of a team. The story of a family. The story of FMD racing. Give him more canyon beer. Where does every good story start, if not with some characters? Let me jog your memory. Introducing Tarnay Seagrave, the princess of our story, a spearhead of this firm. She rides the World Cup tracks like they're catwalks and looks damn good while doing it. We got Chaos Seagrave, the top boy around these streets. A man who truly lives up to his name and lets his jaw-dropping riding do the majority of the talking. That's Phoebe Gale, the brave one, fearlessly staking her claim on the scene in her own signature style. Legend has it that she's a woman of 100 crushes and she has the means to crush them all. This is Oliver Zouar, the fresh-faced new boy, here to make a splash and spice up the crew with his Aussie-Swedish hybrid style. A true professional and the silent assassin on the streets. Not bad, actually. This young gun is Rudy, the rooster icon. Now he's the ladies' man of the unit, a real pretty boy Romeo on the scene, breaking arts left, right and centre. But holy moly, can this ginger-haired whippersnapper ride a bike? The heroes, of course, would be nothing without the boys with the tools. Owen Gwynn and Angus Hardy are the tooled-up, heavy-hitting blokes of the frog and toad. Hit them up with a cold pipe and they'll be able to fix just about anything. We call this one the coach. The one and only Chris Kilmurray. A man who puts these young unruly misfits on the straight and narrow. He lives by the tunes of Metallica, but also will chew your ear off for days about space museums and spreadsheets. Now this Elliot Harper is an artful dodger who treats work around the team like the Black Plague. No one is too sure of what he does, but he does have an art more golden than the King's family jewels. Happy birthday, beep, 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 beep. But of course, this heavy knuckled firm needs someone to show them the ropes. The boss of sorts. A potty mouthed, oak okay aged fine gentleman who finds a way whatever it takes. If you need something, talk to this man. Who else but Tony Seagrave? Now, where does our journey begin? Why, over the ditch in sunny Europe, of course. The firm were back together, the new faces were showing their worth, and they were breaking in their noble steeds. About to head up for my first quality run. Kind of more exciting, because I've been waiting so long for it. Everything was going smoother than a Somerset cider. Tane was between the tapes for the first time since her 2022 life-changing crash, racing on the world stage once again and ready to get stuck in. Needless to say, the emotion of seeing that lady back on her bike and over the finish line would have even made the hardest man in the East End shed a couple of tears. Oh, I can't really explain that one without probably welling up. The team definitely felt like this year was shaping up to be one to remember.
Sometimes the relentless battering of mountain bikes does bite back though, and it can be a mother chuffing brutal opponent. What's you feeling now, Phil? Uh, it's probably one of the toughest races of my life, though. There's pain, there's emotion. I feel like every time I do a full run at the moment, I crash. There's anger, there's stress. Not everything always goes your way. I think I must have done something in a previous life. In a previous life? Maybe, <laughs> maybe in this life. Right, Roots, it's going to hurt. No, 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 no. It's up. Huh? Roots, don't move. Does that hurt? No. Just chill in. <laughs> Why do you feel sick? Wait, someone got some water. <laughs> nah, I'm not even lying, I'm not even lying. Oh, Needle shot. Yeah, he will faint. Oh, he's so faint. Now he's gone. 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 He's I always used to watch edits when I was a kid, and I just wanted to go out after. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in for an incredible night. Oh, we're taking it up a notch. I can't believe what I'm seeing Meanwhile, right now. somewhere on the other side of the world, a chaotic storm was brewing. A storm you're going to want to witness. I kept the faith, keeping the faith. I know you got it. Yeah, out of my way, give me some space, just family around me, yeah. Chaos Seagrave, ladies and gents. This two-wheeled tyrant was well underway with stepping into his free ride shoes and starting his year as a full-time free rider in style by taking on the formidable Utah desert. Free ride life is lovely, like just riding loads and making cool shit and then going to do cool shoots. Yeah, I'm loving it. How does it feel if you doubt it? It's still who we started with. Put down the seed that was harvesting. We make the art and we market it. All of it. I kept the faith. Happy. Happy KO. Yeah, out of my way. Give me some space. Just family around me. Hey, putting in work. Won't say a word until they announce it. Hey, determined to get it. I'm focused and driven. What you know about I'm just working on my trophy speech. My trophy speech. I'm just working on my trophy speech. My trophy speech. This for the fam, this for the home team. I'm just working on my trophy speech. I started making a list of some names that I got to mention. No rest for the wicked though. From here, chaos jetted over to the plains of Africa to take on the formidable Dark Fest. You got to have more than a screw loose to take on this beast. Chaos was unleashed. Yeah, we're on day zero, and wow. we're already doing Peter B's. Everyone's bad. talking about it. There's a new, the new, um, on that. new handshake for this week. It's just a oh. nutty P handshake. Nutty P. And the winner is Mike T from Graduation. Cause I kept the faith, keeping the faith. I know you got it. Out of my way, give me some space. Just family around me. Put in your word, don't say a word, tell you nothing. Determined to get it, I'm focused and driven, so what you know about it? Yeah. I'm just working on my trophy speech. My trophy speech. I'm just working on my trophy speech. My trophy speech. See, this for the fam, this for the home team. I'm just working on my trophy speech. From one bunch of loose cannons to the next, we're back in the world of racing. World Cup races was being tackled head first, and no matter what it threw at the FMD racing crew were ready to batter it. T 
team needed someone to come back and you know actually not crash their bike or actually look cool on it, so they called me up. Oh my god, how was that bro? Just uh, headed to the athlete juice. Just headed for the athlete juice straight away. Life on the road can be a gruelling slog for this gang of men. Don't get videos of that, Joe. Sorry. Is it on the thing? Yeah, yeah broadcast. Right, please. Right. Don't let this get you down. Trust me, we know how good a ride you are. Yeah, that's the worst thing about it. I feel like that wouldn't even be in the first today. No, but you're you're pushing more each week. Each race, you're pushing that little bit more. Try and find Oliver as well. Hold on to me, come on. Yeah. But they wouldn't have it any other way. Even got that sweet, juicy taste of podiums to sweeten the deal. Phoebe got her first taste of the addictive substance that is podium life in the big leagues. What was your first champagne opening experience? Bro? Wait, it was a disaster, but it's all right. Now. Oh, that's a big ball. Something no one saw coming, but also so familiar at the same time, was Tane staking her claim onto the big stage once again. The unpredictable and choppy seas of Tane's recovery and journey back to racing was a daily undertaking for that trooper. It's been so good to be back. Like, I think people see that I'm different now as well. Like, not in a bad way. I just feel like there's a calmer energy to me. It's weirdly not as fiery, but I feel like the fire's still there. It's just kind of slowly burning rather than just like in your face. <laughs> That was a huge challenge as well, coming back from my concussion, because I was like, am I even going to like riding anymore? Like, I don't know. Like, I didn't like it before, so why would I like it now? So the fact that I developed a love for it again, and like I said, I put so much work into my craft. If I got to ride my bike that day, it was like a good day. So that mindset like, change was like incredible. And yeah, I'm stoked to ride bikes again. It's crazy to think of where she was this time last year, but also January this year where she was like to having an entire season where she raced every single race and world championships you can just tell that she's having a good time again she's actually pushing now and she's actually like you know going for it and that's what we all love to see and hopefully there's more of it deep in the dark gloomy welsh valleys is where tane was ready to cut her teeth and break out of her shell as the new and improved Tane Seagrave. The stage, Red Bull Hardline. A race that even the devil would have scorned at. Built into the cliffs of Welsh mountains and taking no prisoners. Red Bull Hardline is, is the racetrack, the event that pushes the world's best downers outside their comfort zone. I want, like, I'm excited to see how this new athlete or how far this athlete can go. gnarly as soon as you drop in and I think just the vibe today it's so dark it's wet and a bit grim and even like the boys are a bit like so just off the foot we were kind of scared chaos now the yard line veteran donned his race garments to do battle
The weather at Ardline proved to be too big a beast this time around, but it didn't stop both Chaos and Tane putting some chinks in its armour. They say no hour of life is wasted when spent in the cockpit. And this came to complete fruition when the full team crossed paths at times through the year and truly took on the notion of show up and blow up. I kept the faith, keeping the faith, I know you got it. Yeah, out of my way, give me some space, just family around me. Yeah, putting in work, won't say your word, till they announce it. Hey, determined to get it, I'm focused and driven. What you know about it? Thanks to the sun. Hey, you see the melanin? Yeah, we just begun. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Laddie boy's gonna fucking do it. Laddie boy's gonna fucking do it, Adam. An hour and a half of whip, man. You can't. Like whip and that. Look at that. So. Proud. Dad always told me stay true to the route. It's for the veal. Gold in the teal. Kids walk around with the gold in their grill. Told you my focus. I never lost hope, and I'm giving them something they feel. I keep a chill, ain't no counterfeit. How does it feel if you? That it is still who we started with Put down the seed that was harvesting We make the art and we market it all of it I kept the faith, keeping the faith I know you got it, yeah Out of my way, give me some space Just family around me, hey Putting in work, won't say a word Until they announce it, hey Determined to get it, I'm focused and driven What you know about it? Got a habit of coming second at these things now. I've had worse habits though. <laughs> There's an event that all MTB pilots dream of reaching one day. A race where the stakes are higher, the pressure greater and the bikes get proper tarted up. This year they chose the perfect stage for 2023. Bonnie Scotland of course. It's world champs you mug. They say there's more learning to be done in defeat than in victory. And the Scottish Islands bloody well did throw everything it had at these pilots. She's in the medic centre right now. So I hope she's all right, but qualified second. She saw because obviously the crash was fucking massive. She almost ripped her arm off. Um, so she's feeling pretty beat up. I think her back is pretty sore as well. Other than the ridiculous crash, she wrote a really good run today. I think for Tani, it's really, really good. I think she, she'll take a bit of confidence from that. And I think what everyone will easily forget is uh, the perspective. It's good. I don't know if it's a turning point. Can't predict the future, but it's going to be Good from this point onwards, I think, for her, because she's slowly coming around to the idea that, yes, post-concussion, steady build back, I can do this, you know. But whether she'd race tomorrow, I don't know yet. Get ask her. There ain't anything quite like world champs. Uh, riding after that crash, I... Honestly, I said to my mum, and I was like, yeah, nah, she ain't riding. Like, no way. I know Tani. And she did.
It was soon time for overseas adventures for our plucky firm and compasses were set the dead west as they crossed the Atlantic for American and Canadian quests. Our Aussie Swede chap, Mr. Oliver Zwar, was unfortunately rested up for his stint, but the rest of the gang hit the reset button and hit full gas in the land of the free and the land of the maple. Probably the worst one of my life. It's nice to actually Lots of like last year's one was worse, but this one was pretty close. I'm not over the bars. I'm sad. <laughs> um, I've got nothing else to add to this other than snowshoe. Out. I love the shop, I love it. Oh my god, this one's kind of sick though. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> that would be amazing. How we Welcome it. to Mont Sinan. This is how we roll. <laughs> if we win as a team, it will feel like insane and I really want to bring up the team and I want us all to win and it would be amazing. But I just feel like if you get too wrapped up in that, you do start to forget the little things and you do start to, I don't know, turn a blind eye to like the nice things in life because you're just, you keep searching for something that's like up here all the time. And here we are, so Phoebe's qualified 10th, first run went off in finals. Tani qualified 7th with a pretty conservative run, so it's not raining right now, it's definitely still slick and um, uh, anything's possible. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to have to make a decision. I was like, I know some of them rode the rock gun really fast. I'm just going to ride it like it's dry. I'm going to keep to my dry line. The rock gun was so slick. It was insane. I'm like, how are people not dying? Me and my mum, Len, we were watching it. And those rocks, man, they are so slippery. I was like, oh, she's coming through them now. I crashed in the rock garden because I was riding it like it's dry. There's no way I was going to make it through. <laughs> when I picked my bike up, my brake lever was bent and my mech was like in my wheel and I couldn't get going again. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to stick around here for a bit. And so I ran over to the left side of the crowd and gave my gloves away. And then somebody handed me a beer. I was like, oh, I got one. <laughs> I was like, oh, whatever, got one then, one for Stevie. Everyone was cheering and just like, I've never experienced something like that. Seeing her back like that was, yeah, insane. Just. Didn't expect it, yeah. Legend. You know, the confidence was there, the confidence to do what she did was like, you know, crash, get up, chug a beer, crack on, you know, cross the line with a smile on her face. That is the time I've seen in the past. Huge thing that brings our athletes back on FMD Racing is we're a unique team. There's, there isn't another team like this. Like, we've gone through some shit, dude, over the last however many years, and there's nothing quite like FMD. But... I'm just so, so lucky to have the people around me that I do. Yeah, 2023 was nothing short of amazing. That, that, that doesn't make sense, doesn't it? Nothing short, yeah, there we go. I hope you all enjoy season two. I've had a good year and I hope you guys enjoy the season watching it. Maybe season three I'll have a boyfriend. <laughs> As us old boys would say, the brave one is not he who doesn't feel afraid, but he who conquers that fear. That's enough for now, ladies and gents. Make sure to keep those pints brimmed, the cranks turning, the jumps sending, and the vibes high. This is the story of FMD racing, and this is how we roll.
season two.